Hey guys, I'm Michelle St. Aubin. I'm a certified speech language therapist and I work mostly with kids birth to five. Um, snack time is a really great way to encourage language skills, especially when we're talking about signing more, using the word more, or just encouraging requesting and naming in general. Um, and in this video, I share how to set up the environment to really encourage that. My lovely niece is with me, which makes it super happy and fun um, to do this video. And she already has a lot of words, which is great. However, that's not the point of this. The point is for you to see how there's a big difference, even for a child that does have quite a bit of language at this point, um, between giving them all of the food and giving them bits and pieces at a time. So I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you learn something from it. Um, and let me know what you think. Peaches, lots of peaches in there. Chew it up. <laughs> you love peaches. They're squishy. You gonna break those apart? No. No. There you go. You broke it. Tear it apart. Break it. Oh, you broke it again. You broke the peach. Just take a bite. <laughs> Chew those up. So I hope you noticed that during the video, she did not have an opportunity to say more because her needs were met. She had all of the peaches she needed throughout that minute and a half. And actually the video is closer to three to four minutes and um, she didn't request more the entire time or for any, any peaches or anything like that. So when we're focusing on trying to get them to use the word more or the sign more um, or really any word for that matter, we have to set up the environment and in this case, that was not really done well by giving her all the peaches if we are focusing on the word peaches or more um, or just requesting in general. In this next video, I have ice cream. It's a little slower so she doesn't get as many frequencies, if you will, or opportunities, um, but a lot more opportunities come because I give her smaller portions at a time. So watch it and see what you think. on the tray. Yeah. What's that? Where did that go? My peach? My peach? More ice cream, please. This oh, in my shirt. More ice cream, please. This in my shirt ice cream. That's Aunt Michelle's ice cream. Mama. More ice cream, please. More ice cream, please. So did you notice anything? Did you notice that she had more opportunity to use the word more and request her food? Um, that's what I find is if you 
uh, set up the environment, it has a huge impact on how kids um, develop their language skills. And this is a really great setting to do that in. Uh, you'll Between the two videos, so with the Peaches video, um, where she had as much as she really needed through that time, they're both a minute and a half long, the, the movies or the videos. And um, during the Peaches video, she did not request for more Peaches at all. During the ice cream video, she requested nine times in the same exact amount of time. So you see how just tweaking it a little bit can make a huge difference. In the last part of this video, in this session, um, you're, I'm going to compare two different meals and explain the benefits of um, setting up the environment in a certain way to encourage speech and language development. Okay, so here you'll see two pictures. One is a picture of a cup that is partially full. I have the top off here. Um, this is a 360 cup and part of it is filled up. I did not fill it all the way up to the top. This plate has four broken pieces of cracker. The likelihood of the child to finish the crackers and need more or want more is pretty probable. So that means that as soon as they're finished, they're going to be looking to you for more crackers. And that gives us the opportunity to teach them a sign like more or to model the word more for them so they're starting to understand that word um, and then eventually be able to use it. And the more that they need to use it and we give them the space and the time and opportunity to, to use it, the more likely they're going to learn to request more naturally and on their own because they're, they're needing to and they're highly motivated by it. So this creates more opportunity to practice versus this one. If you give them a full plate of crackers and a full cup of juice, there's really no need to ask for more. So the likelihood is that this, they're probably going to ask for more here, but with the drink especially, they're not necessarily going to need to ask for more. This will probably last them an entire afternoon. So if you give them smaller servings of milk or juice or water, whatever you're, you're working on, um, you create more opportunity naturally for them to ask and kids learn a lot better than us drilling them and saying, say milk or say juice or say water, whatever. If they need it and we're modeling the word by saying, oh, you need more juice, juice, you need juice, they're more likely to pick up on that and start to use it for requesting their own drinks. Same with the crackers. If there's a lot of cra crackers on the plate, they're not going to really need to ask for more. So here, they might request, you know, one time for crackers or seek you out one time. Over here, this is one cracker split up into four pieces versus five. One, two, three, four, five. So let's say that they ask for two servings here and they end up eating ten whole crackers. Here, they're going to, if they eat ten whole crackers, that's ten times that they're going to request for more Versus here, if they eat a total of 10 crackers, that's one time that they're going to need to ask for more for that second set of five crackers. Whereas here, they're eating one whole cracker right here. So 10 times it will take to get to 10 full crackers. So there's more opportunity to practice asking or requesting their needs and wants. There's increased focus and motivation during snack time. Kids really love food, just like people. It's really social. They're getting a lot of attention during this time, or, or hopefully they're getting quite a bit of attention during this time. So because they're motivated to eat and, and they want food, I highly recommend doing this with a food that they really love so that they're wanting more. Um, they're going to be focused and really motivated and engagement is like the foundation for teaching language. So another uh, perk of giving them a little bit less that I've found is that there's a greater chance that they will sit and eat more. I don't know if it's that it's overwhelming for them when they get a lot of food, um, but when they're, it, think about when you go to a restaurant and you get a smaller portion of food, you tend to eat it all and still feel like, oh, it just doesn't feel as much. 
Whereas if you, with when you go to a place that gives you a ton of food, we usually have food left over and it feels a little bit more overwhelming. So I find that if I give a little bit at a time, they're more likely to eat more and sit longer.